Do you want some free V-Bucks? Yes! If so, you can get some right now by clicking the link in the description below labeled free V-Bucks. Alright, what is good? What is happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. Guys, here today is I'm actually going to be going over all the brand new skins that are becoming a Fortnite that could or could not be free. And we're going to be taking a look at those here in today's video and also some of the patch notes and everything that have come out here within the brand new 4.2 update that has of course leaked these skins that are coming to us here in our near future. So if you guys think you're going to enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like on it. Like reading is always greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys enter into my monthly 5,000 V-Bucks giveaway by dropping a like on today's video. Subscribe plus turning on notifications and then commenting down below with that being said let's hop into today's video all right boys so we're gonna be taking a look at here at some of these brand new skins what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna just you know hop right on into this because we don't exactly have any of the sort of the names yet this is actually gonna be over on fortniteinsider.com and this is actually pretty sick a uh, guys by the name of two epic buddies happen to find this over on Twitter they actually are really famous for leaking like a, a whole bunch of stuff regarding skins and just oh uh, you know brand new stuff that's supposed to be coming to the game so they actually got a bunch of this stuff going on, but let's just open this up here in a new tab. We're going to go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, so it looks like, you know, kind of going first off right here is that we do have like this like weird, weird sort of like, what is this like, like a fish, like a, a weird fish type of skin or something like that. I mean, I don't, I don't even know how to begin to describe it, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. If I'm like, if I do say so myself, I mean, that's probably one of the more crazy or wacky skins I think we've ever seen in Fortnite to date. I mean, we do have that sort of like the weird, like, fish guy already the guy that's got like he's like the alien with like the fishbowl and everything the astronaut suit it's kind of like a mixture and everything like that but we do next actually have um what this does remind me of is almost if you guys kind of go back to uh some of the older i believe it's like europe somewhere roughly between you know 15 to 1700s or something like that the doctors in there used to wear like this sort of like weird duck bill ish type of mask i do believe it kind of reminds me a little bit of assassin's creed for those of you guys that have played any of that uh, type of game but i mean it looks like more of like a high tech or some sort of like maybe like a fighter pilot mixed with that type of thing i mean you know he's got like the goggles and everything this really really sick helmet and what looks like to be some sort of like weird sort of like gold sort of plated thing i mean he's got like kind of like an x or something on it obviously you guys are seeing whatever i'm seeing right here so if i don't see it then obviously you guys aren't going to be able to see anything next moving on over here we do believe probably have what is this it seems to be our girl version and then our guy version of some sort of like scuba slash space suit type of thing they're kind of going for like this weird underwater water slash space sort of vibe here still i mean i think uh, kind of moving down if we were to look at any of sort of the back blings or something we almost got like this sort of like radioactive type of deal so it's like a space radioactive suit type things so we have our female uh, person right here and then our male character which is obviously looking sick i'm guaranteeing that all these ones up here in the very top are going to be at least a minimum of 1500 to 2000 v bucks they could give it to us let's say for something like regarding like a twitch prime pack and it could be like a thank you type of skin you know it could be like something could be free in there we don't exactly know so you know anything can happen um going down down here it looks like we have some real buff dude i mean he looks like he's like basically rambo he's like the black version of rambo is what it seems he's got like the whole sort of like bullet belt going around him i mean he's got like whatever it's some sort of weird paint on his on his shoulders and i do believe maybe something that goes down his chest or arms because it doesn't look like his he's got the same skin tone on his arms as he does to his upper chest and neck right there but he's got like the aviator glasses on he's got the bandana classic sort of you know pretty like badass type of war uh war type of guy i mean i think that's I, he's gonna be real sick i may have to cop all of these skins let me know down in the comment section below guys are you gonna be copying any of these skins i'd like to see your guys thoughts and opinions uh also moving on over here to some of the what is this like the gliders and stuff we have sort of like a not like an x-men type of theme but we do have it, it carries over from this guy right here down there it's like a gold sort of like v or something i don't exactly know let me know down in the comment section below guys what are your thoughts and opinions on this guy here so far i don't know what his theme is i i honest to god really don't it's kind of a little bit confusing to me maybe some sort of weird experiment or something i i've no idea maybe he's a sort of like the super villain maybe that's what he's trying to do maybe he's the superhero maybe then we have the guy down here like the rambo guy maybe he's kind of like a villain of some 
sort. We don't know because we did get that sort of map update in Fortnite where we do have the hero layer, uh, which is kind of reminding you of like an X-Men sort of layout. And then we also have the sort of like the nuclear warhead over by Snobby Shores, which is like the, the villain sort of base. Uh, I'd like to see you guys' thoughts down there about, you know, what's this? Maybe these are tying into it. We do have like a nuclear sort of uh, glider, which is pretty sick. So I guess that ties these all in here. Uh, we do have like nuclear guys. Maybe they're working on something. Kind of reminds me of maybe let's say they're these guys would be working down at Dusty Divot with the sort of uh, the egg or the meteor that's down there. And then we do have, I guess it looks like to be some sort of... I don't exactly know what this is. Just something like a, a, a breathing sort of device maybe to get them fresh oxygen. I don't know exactly what this is. Some sort of testing tube type of device. I don't exactly know, but it looks pretty sick. I think I'm gonna have to cop, you know, pretty much all these things here. I know you drop in a good chunk of money. These are 1500 to 2000 V bucks a piece. Uh, we also have another one down here, which I'm guessing is like your guy and girl type of version, which, you know, to me looks pretty cool. I mean, they're both very similar. I don't really know what's the difference between them. I mean, I guess this one's got like the black back on it and this one has like your sort of, you know, uh, turquoise or teal or, you know, light green type of theme to it. I'm not sure if this is supposed to also go with them but this has like your plus and i guess maybe your minus maybe this is your oxygen uh type of thing that's going on i don't know if this goes in correlation with this guy the uh, the other guy right there do we also do have a battle like a literal axe so i'm guessing this could be more so for maybe the, our rambo character i mean he kind of looks more like brolic and like he would actually have like a straight up axe um th this could be for him this could be for something in the future then we do have uh what is this it looks more like a not like a jackhammer but some sort of excavation type of tool but that's going to be our pickaxe for all these different sort of you know uh biohazard type of theme people and then we have this weird i, I don't even know what that is I mean, that kind of reminds me of, like, something superhero-esque, like, uh, what is it, Frozone from The Incredibles, I don't know, just like that sort of sleek type of feel, I mean, that, that's kind of what it reminds me of, you know, guys, uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys got any thoughts or ideas, and then we obviously do have the camera, which doesn't really seem to go with any of this stuff, unless it may happen to go with that, maybe he's a movie character? That's, a, that's always a possibility. I do believe that's it for the skins and everything. So we're just going to move over here to some of the patch notes you guys probably want to be kept up to date with or just really understand what's going on. So for weapons and items, they actually did a fair few things here. I kind of read over this myself a little bit, kind of going to give you guys what's going on here. So we've got the brand new uh, legendary burst rifle. It's legendary and epic. can be found in floor loot, treasure chests, supply drops, and vending machines. It does 32 to 33 damage. I believe this is pretty similar to the, like... It, I believe this is really similar to what um, the regular burst rifle would do if it was a legendary or an epic. I don't know the exact stats on it, but I do think that this could be one of the more overpowered guns in the game if they actually don't get it right, which I do have a good feeling that they will get it right just because Epic Games is always so good with it. And then also we do have uh, some new apples. It's like, this is like a weird thing. So basically we have a new item in game and they're called, it's like a new forged item, apples. Consuming an apple will grant you five health up to 100 so you guys can actually eat apples up until uh, 100 health it's not like bandages or you have to rely on slurps and these can actually be found um uncommonly can be found around certain trees throughout the map so i'm guessing we're gonna have certain apple trees around the map that are going to show us where exactly they are and i guess they're gonna be a certain thing so if you're low on health you find an apple tree well you can get five health for every apple you eat which is pretty sick apart from some of the other different you know submachine gun nerfs and some different damage reductions and everything something i know you guys want to be able to see is that uh the trap they actually decrease the damage of it from 125 down to 75 which is you know actually pretty important i'll just highlight that right there so 125 down to 75 so you won't insta die every single time you hit a trap but if you are lower health you will go insta down which is you know it does make sense i can say that some of these traps did take an abnormal amount of health i i don't know i'm kind of glad they're they put it like that but i mean we'll see we'll see how this actually plays out are people going to be irritated are they still going to use traps i think they'll still be pretty effective um something that I know is going to be really, really sick is they actually added an auto pickup option, which is something that I've been wanting for actually a decent bit of time. And it says added auto pickup option for pickups on PC and consoles. This will automatically pick up weapons and consumables when walking over them. As long as inventory slots are still empty, they'll be placed in your next available inventory slot. So I'm guessing if you have ammo or just some sort of like weapon or something like that, if you have an open inventory slot and you run over something, as long as you do have this checked on, this is going to make picking up stuff very 
very, very easy. Because, I mean, sometimes it sucks constantly having to take your thumb off the joystick and press square or, I believe, X on Xbox. So, I mean, that's always really good. They do also have it for PC. So, whatever you have macro key to picking up stuff on PC, then obviously you can do it like that. I think this is actually a pretty cool gameplay mechanic. I'm very interested to see how it actually plays out, if it's going to make stuff go a little bit better. Um, also, they, you know, fix something with turbo building. And I do believe there's somewhere down here. Oh, yeah, underneath performance. This is what I'm really excited about, apart from that sort of, you know, uh, fix right there with auto picking up stuff, is that they actually improve the overall server tick rate, um, increase it from 20 to 30 updates a second. So as you guys may not be understanding what tick rates are, is that if you go from, uh, let's say, a Call of Duty game, which does have a server tick rate of, I believe, around anywhere from 45 to 60, and that's why your shots register very, very well. Uh, you know, Fortnite has had that thing where maybe your shots are just like, where are my shots even going? I mean, if you don't live exactly in a very good spot, let's say on the east or west coast, you're kind of like myself and live in central United States. Well, sometimes your shots can kind of feel like they're not really going anywhere. They did increase it up from 20 to 30 updates a second. So they basically made it so that you can actually um, get your shots to register more frequently. It does allow for more responsive movement and shooting and reduces effective ping times for all players, which is really sick. So that means your shots and everything, everything you do basically in game is going to be more smooth, which is really, really nice. There really isn't that much more in here. I don't believe they said anything about having the refund system back. I know a lot of people are really hoping for the refund system. I would love to be able to see it in there, but I guess there maybe was some sort of bug. Maybe people were glitching it out, but yeah, that is going to be really about it. I mean, we went over all the skins and everything we're supposed to be here. We went over the patch notes, kind of showed you guys what's really important here within this brand new 4.2 update. If you guys happen to enjoy this video, want to see any more of these, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are brand new. Turn those post notifications so you can be first saw my brand new videos. Make sure you guys comment down below and then doing all those steps will get you entered in my monthly 5,000 V-Bucks giveaway. But with that all being said, my name's been Chuck. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope to see you around on the channel in the future. But until next time, just run on Triple Cap, don't be a Randy, and I'm out. Peace.